Bow your heads with me today. It's a special day. Somebody say special day. You know, when I think of my father and I think of my mother, I say to myself, I say, why have they been so successful over all of these years? Why has God blessed them all of these years? It's because they were always in the right boat. Come on, give God some praise for that. They always had God on their side. Nothing that you hear us say or do comes without the sanctioning of God. That's why you're sitting in this beautiful edifice, in this beautiful church, because God has been with us. That's why we've been able to touch the world with this ministry, because God has been with us. Oakwood Village, a beautiful village, a beautiful place, a name that used to be local, is now in a global name. It's in the congressional record of the United States of America because Jesus was in the boat. 43 years and counting, Jesus has been with us even on today, calming the storm, fixing what needed to be fixed, taking care of our family, taking care of the Mount Zion family at pivotal points in our lives. So I want to ask you a question. Will you do me a favor and bow your head and thank God for your pastor here today. Thank God for his life. Pray for his health. Pray for his strength. Pray for his sustenance. You'll never know how much it costs to go 43 years doing all that he's done, blessing all that he's blessed, touching lives. So many things, we don't even speak about it, where he's been able to touch people today. And I believe that even from today on, the best is yet to come. So today we honor him, we pray for him, we thank God for him, and we ask that God will continue to give him the strength to carry on this journey. I ask today that you would also Pray for my mother. Pray for our first lady. Come on, give God some praise for her. She supported him. She's made great sacrifices as a first lady of a church. She's done so much for her family. And trust me, she's done so much even for you. And so I want you to pray for her. Pray for her sustenance. Pray for her life. Pray that God continues to move and continues to give her the strength that she needs to carry on the journey. She's accepted a great calling, and God has blessed her because of it. I ask also today that you would pray for me and my family, my brother, his family, even today as we continue to support them and continue to bless God as pastors and ministers. Also, we ask that you would continue to pray for every member, every friend, every affiliate of our church. Pray for this place called Oakwood Village, a place that is now known all over the world because of some of the things that have happened in this building, even right here today. We thank God for his love, and we thank God for continuing to bless us and bless our dear pastor for 43 years of ministry. Can you put your hands together for him one more time? Before I go, we have a special presentation. I'm going to ask if our mayor would come forward and our president of council. Give them a great big hand clap. He's going to come to the front. Mayor, you're going to come to the front. I'm going to grab you a microphone. He's going to come right to the front in front of the podium. And our president of council is here. He has a special presentation that he wants to share in honor of our pastor. We're right here. Pastor Dan, will you come forward? We're going to stand with him, and we're going to help present this special presentation. Oh, my. First, I'd uh, ask King Jesus to pour his spirit out and touch every one of us here in the sanctuary, as well as those that you pray for, and touch us with your presence and fill us with fresh fire and wisdom and make us all, make us all a, um, 
to make us all more like you. In Jesus' beautiful name. As mayor of Oakwood, we now have a special presentation. And along with our council president, Johnny Warren, and our two senior, pa uh, our two senior pastors, <laughs> not yet, <laughs> we like to proudly proclaim naming Oakwood uh, Parkway uh, from Broadway to Mount Zion, renaming it. <laughs> Dr. Larry L. Macon Drive. Come on, give God some praise. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. <laughs> Understand it takes a while for the county to do their bookkeeping. So the sign not, might not, it might from six to eight weeks, so the sign will certainly be up by Thanksgiving at, on Broadway, all right? And how fortunate we are here in Oakwood Village to have 43 years of Dr. Macon's blessings and enriching us with his spirituality, with his vision, and just being a super community partner. And with that, um, again, Mount Zion, we continue to bless you and enjoy the, the unparalleled growth and success that you're having in the future. Thank you. On behalf of the Village Council and the Mayor and the administration and the residents of Oakwood Village, we are more than happy and enthused about being able to rename this street Larry and Macon Drive. I was able to stand up for the first time and confirm that I was able to serve my 23rd year because I started coming to the church in 2003. So I have my celebration of 20 years as a participant and a member of this church. And I just like to say that we've seen our community grow. I was very happy to be a part of the transition from Booker to this and protected the church from things that had evolved and made sure that this was a successful development and we contributed all that we can give and continue to. And I thank the pastor for his leadership not only in Oakwood Village, but throughout our country and the nation for his words. And as sons, you couldn't be any better to have your sons to follow you. And you've been blessed. And of course, Sister Macon, who is the rock of it all and the leader of it all, whether Pastor want to admit to it or not, but we thank her for her generosity and her sacrifice and their family. Thank you all. Amen. Let's give God a great big hand praise today. Have I died and gone on to heaven? Is this for real? Normally you're dead when someone honors you in such a marvelous kind of a way. I must be in a dream today. And I want you to know that for everyone who rides down this street, you're going to have to pay me taxes. Amen. Let's give our mayor and our president of council of Oakwood Village a great big hand because they had a great big vision. I am shocked today. I heard through Johnny the mayor was coming. I said, oh, the mayor's going to be here for my anniversary. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, he's going to be here for my anniversary. I didn't know he was coming here bringing gifts. Hey, man, I feel like it's Christmas. They're bringing me a great gift. Thank you very, very much, Miss Macon. Isn't that something? Dr. Larry L. Macon Tribe. Wow, I don't even know how to take that. I think I'm going to extend it all the way down through our driveway and take it all the way to the back of the church to the next street so it'll connect all over the, the neighborhood. And uh, again, 43 years. It has not been 43 years. There's some pastors who have pastored by themselves as a single man or a single pastor for 43 years. 
in our case, we were pastoring with uh, Sister Macon, so that means we've been around with 86 years of experience. Amen? So you don't just have a 43-year-old pastor, but you also have a 23-year-old pastor, and a how many years? And 20 years, 40, 20, 20, that's about 100 years collectively that we have pastored this church. We are a fortunate group of people, but I need you to know we could never have done any of this had it not been for a cooperative, a faith-led congregation who believed that God had anointed and consecrated the man of God to do all that he wanted him to do with his wife and family. And here again, I am not just a one generational pastor. When I came here 43 years ago, I wanted our ministry to succeed generationally. And God gave it to us as in the 100th Psalm that God is the God from one generation to the next generation to the next generation. That's why I wanted that picture up there that I knew nothing about with my grandkids and uh, my wife, my other uh, members of our family, because we believe that one day, whatever they do, they're going to be a part of ministering from generation to generation. And I'm not looking for four generations. I'm looking for seven generations. Give God a great big hand praise, because you are a great church. I'm going to ask my family to come here on stage if they can. Amen. And stand right there with us today. And we're going to ask that our bishop, who is uh, my uh, bishop, Medina, we're going to ask him to come here and pray for our family as we close. And you've been very kind. That, that choir came all the way from New York City today. I want to thank them. The New York City Choir. I think it was Manhattan, the Queens. Amen. Mount Zion. Amen. This is my lovely wife. This is my daughter-in-law. Elodie is back there. This is the entire generations that we're trying to raise here at the church. You can stand right there, Mayor, on the east side here. Where's that photo person there? He's going to lead us in a word of prayer. Amen. Amen. Blessings to you all. It is such a joy to be here and celebrate this special day. The national average for pastors is eight years. Dr. Macon always likes to break records. He's done five times that, amen, and more years to come. Praise God. It's an honor to serve under such a wonderful man of God. I would not be who I am today if it wasn't for, the, for this ministry and for everything that you have poured out onto me, and I'm thankful for it community is thankful for it and I'm honored to be able to say this prayer over this wonderful family that have been such a blessing to me. So let us bow our heads close our eyes and let us pray together for this wonderful family that has made such a significant difference in all of our lives. Gracious Heavenly Father Creator, Governor Preserver of all things we just are amazed at what you are doing in our midst. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful leaders that we have. We thank you for this beautiful family, Lord, that has done and will continue to do so many wonderful things for your kingdom. We want to honor them today. We want to thank them for everything that they have invested in, in each and every single one of us. I ask, Lord, that you continue to open the windows of heaven and you continue to pour down your blessings, overflow your blessings in their lives. May you continue to guide their every step, fill them with health, long life, long ministry to come, and may we continue to celebrate more and more anniversaries for a long time to come as a family in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And I am thankful that if I ever drive down that street and I get a ticket, I can say, I know that person. So